Hi, hello friends, and welcome to my Floss Tube channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, I'm so happy you came back to spend a little bit of time with me. My name is Amanda May, and I design under the label Artith Design. You can find my designs and my blog and some of the products that I carry over at artithdesign.com. I'll have that below here, artdesign.com. I'm so happy you're here. So we are post um, Nashville Needlework Market. It is a wholesale trade show in the needle arts here in the United States. It's held annually. And I just got my notice that save the date for next year, people. <laughs> so it's a wholesale show where uh, more than 100 <laughs> shops um, come uh, to purchase from exhibitors like designers, uh, fabric dyers, thread dyers, needle point canvas painter, like, and then trims like haberdashery and all, all the things, right? So you can come, come into the one place and purchase all the things. So it was my first year at Nashville Needlework Market. It was amazing. This is pretty much though how the weekend went. Hi, hi, I see you. I love your work. Oh my gosh, I love your work. I cannot get out of my room to physically meet you, but I love you. <laughs> that was it, right? Like you're like, I'm fangirling people in the hall, but literally couldn't leave. Why couldn't I leave my room? Because <laughs> I was meeting so many wonderful people. I I did have some moments where I cried at people like, oh my gosh, you like me. You really like me. <laughs> Just talking to different people, people who um, have seen me on YouTube and shop owners and shop owners helpers, like people were coming in. It helped too that I had my friend and her daughter and her daughter plays the banjo. So she was sitting on the couch playing her banjo and then people would be like, what's that noise? And come in and listen to the banjo. And... That was Friday and a little bit of Saturday until I taught her how to cross stitch and then no more banjo, all counted cross stitch. So <laughs> she, she was off to the races or off to the thread purveyors and the floss purveyors. She said, so within the first three hours of teaching her how to cross stitch, she's like, she looks up and she goes, okay, I got to go buy more string. And we're like, no, honey, it's not string. It's floss or thread, overnight threads. And she's like, okay, whatever it is, I'm going to go buy some now. So she, <laughs> she left and bought stuff. She went into booths that I really wanted to go to. She bought uh, this beautiful rainbow thread pack from Forbidden Fiber that I had been looking at and I wanted. And it's like a surreal experience to be like at the end of the night. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm looking on social media and I'm seeing people's posts about their rooms that are like across the way that I haven't made it to, but I can see it firsthand on my little, you know, smartphone. So that was a trip. I met so many amazing people that I could not even begin to list them all off. So if you came into my room, just know that I am so happy and so grateful that you took the time from your schedule to come and see me. And if you weren't able to stop by, I totally understand because they did the math and it was like 127 exhibitors and the amount of hours of the show. So like it was between seven and nine minutes per room if you didn't stop for bathroom breaks or food breaks. And then people were like, people were busy. And towards the end, I had so many amazing shop owners come in and they had that like, it's called decision fatigue. It's a real thing. It's called decision fatigue. And where you've, you've made, literally made so many decisions seen so many things that you're 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 not able really <laughs> to make decisions in the past I heard about decision fatigue as a uh young as a parent so you know <laughs> when you're making decisions all day long like towards the end of the day you're like I just someone says what do you want for dinner and you're like I have no idea I don't know I've been making decisions since 6 a.m in the morning I don't I don't know I don't know what I want like that's kind of <laughs> what all of us at the show were like We've made decisions all day long. Let's just sit and look at pretty things and not think about buying them or like listening to what the threads are or any of that stuff. So I don't know where I was going with that story, <laughs> but just know that I um, appreciate all of you. And then for for those of you that placed an order with your LNS, your local needlework shop or your 
O-N-S, your online needlework store. I want to thank you so much. So I had some people come in, pick up pre-orders. I also had people who had never heard of me came into my booth for the first time and I'm telling them all about all the things. I, so I just wanted you a couple quick shout outs. So I'm filming today. Today is Tuesday, March 15th. I hope you had a great Pi Day. Happy Pi Day. P-I as in the mathematical constant 3.14 and you know, all the decimal points thereafter, uh, the numbers after that decimal point. Okay, so I want to thank, I know, Country Stitchers, um, Liz and Deb did a shout out for me. Thank you so much, Liz and Deb. I was able to meet them at market. I will put a picture in and oh my gosh, so they are amazing. And it was so, it was so nice to meet them. Deb bought one of my thread packs. So I'm going to have these available on my website. These are the Alana Thread Collection. They're a 12 ply or a 12 weight, two ply thread, and it's a combination of the Murano wool and acrylic. So it's wool fiber plus a synthetic, and it's a blend. I had learned about this company a little bit. Uh, I was branching out a little more from Sulky. I use Sulky threads. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> and I used their the Sulky 100% acrylics for my patriotic bison that I did last year. I did their patriotic webinar. You can still get that pattern, view that free webcast, all that stuff over at sulky.com. But I had been working with that synthetic wool fiber and went, you know what? I would really like to work with some real wool fiber or at least in like a blend like this. So I, I got these threads from Wonderful. They have been wonderful. I know. I swear I didn't practice that. So Wonderful with an F-I-L and then they've been wonderful, F-U-L. Okay, so they're a ca Canadian company, uh, but they have like branches all around the world. And I I approached them like, hey, have you think thought about counter cross stitch and punch nail embroidery for their stuff? Their um, product development team has been amazing to work with over the last several months. And I had my piste de la resistance, my piece for my book. Um, so this is the, the ball hatch sampler, Miss Eliza B. Um, <laughs> Eliza Eleonora ball hatch. Um, her sampler, she's 300 by 300 and she's stitched uh, with it. This is her, the full palette for that sampler stitched with one strand over 32 count lamb's wool, which was a Witchell imports. It's the 32 count lamb's wool linen. So I also used it to do the the parrot punch needles and on the wool applique and all that stuff that's in my new book, A a Rainbow of Threads and Garden Beds. Yes, love me some rainbows, love all the things. So Deb was so nice and talked about this. This will be on my website. The book and my other new releases are still exclusive to Nashville Needlework Market attendees uh, until early April. And then I will have those up on my website, the, the books and my patterns and all that good stuff. So, so thank you, uh, Liz and Deb of Country Stitchers. I would also like to thank Kimberly of Fat Quarter Shop. And Kimberly shouted me out on her, her live floss tube last Wednesday. And she was a delight to meet. I met Kimberly and her team, her Fat Quarter Shop team. They came into my booth and it turns out Kimberly and I both have a love of pugs, pug love. So she was talking about her pug. I was talking about my pugs, all the pugs. And oh, it was so it was great. So I got to meet her and she really liked my book, Stitching Love and Kindness, which was awesome. I showed her the pug, my pug, <laughs> my love pug ornament. And she loved my finishing of the ornament. So I was like, oh my gosh, Kimberly, did I fangirl? Yes, but this, I was like, hold, I was like, yes, I buy from your shop. And yes, I, I really appreciate you and everything that you do for the quilting community worldwide. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> I swear I'm a professional. I swear I am calm. I am calm right now. That was, <laughs> that was me. So her team was really lovely. Uh, to work with. So that was great. And then, so thank you for that shout out. If anybody else has shouted me out and I haven't seen your video yet or um, heard about it, I apologize. <laughs> Please know that I appreciate all of you. <laughs> so I'm going to try to insert some photos of the event 
a lot of people took pictures of me with them, but I didn't get pictures of them with me, which totally everyone's busy. So <laughs> and then there are people that I wanted to say, hi, hello, can we get a picture? And it just, everything was moving so fast to stop and take a picture was not conducive to everyone's schedule, which is totally cool. So I will insert some pictures of that. Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, what, what more can I say? Okay. So needlework retailer and yarn tree put on the Nashville needlework show. Needlework retailer has like for the trades. Um, so they have their own magazine specifically for LNS's needlework shops and online needlework stores, like to get about the latest products and about all that latest stuff. They also put out a comp, they, they put out a cookbook where you could submit your recipes or some charts or whatever to the cookbook and the cookbook, like if you, for attending market, you got a complimentary copy. So I got my own copy of the cookbook. Um, and then apparently it's available for sale, like from the shops that came to market can sell the cookbook. So if you're interested in the cookbook, you need to ask elsewhere. I got one copy of it. I don't know where I put it. Like I'm embarrassed to say, I don't know where I put it, but I had to, I had to quickly stitch up. This is Janine McGowan of the blue flower. So she did a chart in that cookbook. The cookbook is called happiness is homemade. And it's the 2022 Nashville needlework market recipe book. So there are recipes and some charts, but not all charts have recipes. Like not all designers submitted both. Um, they're like Val stuff did one, um, Blackbird designs. There's a small chart, the blue flower. I submitted my design for, uh, not my design. Oh, my recipe for the Flamingo, my wicked Flamingo drink. It's my non-alcoholic drink inspired by my Flamingo pattern that I did last year with the skeleton dressed up as, or <laughs> the Flamingo dressed up like a skeleton and the ghost and ghouls and their, the drink that is in the, my chaining glass is blue and it's not a blue Hawaiian. It's not alcoholic. It's actually a non-alcoholic like fruity drink with a uh, lychee berry, the lychee with eyeball garnish. And so I give the recipe in that book how to make that. Also here on my channel, I did a walkthrough and video tutorial of how to make the drink. I'll try to link it down below <laughs> as well. Uh, if you want to partake in a kind of fun little drink so it you use butterfly pea tea pea like like split pea soup but it's butterfly pea flowers pea and so that it comes out it's a oh it's so pretty so it's blue and then you add the acid and it turns purple and it's just ah science <laughs> it's really cool so that recipe is in the book and I'm hoping to participate next year, not only attending market for my second year, but also participate in the cookbook again next year. Whether I do a recipe, like a drink recipe or dessert, I'm not really sure. So yeah, okay. Other shout outs. I wanna thank uh, Ryan Mack. So she had put out a couple weeks before market that she was starting to sell like necklaces and more merch, like tote bags and drinks and stuff. And then, so it was neat to see her display at Nashville. I'm actually drinking out of my cup made by her or made, she had it made. She designed it. So I'm drinking stash out of my rise and shine mug by wild violet cross stitch. So I will link her shop below. Not sponsored. I just really like her stuff. <laughs> mm. If you came into my room, you also got a sticker if you wanted. And oh my goodness. So my love of stickers apparently transcends ages and geography and everything because I met so many people that love stickers too. You're my people. Cross stitch and stickers and sustainability. So that's awesome. Okay. So the comic joke for this video, you're gonna have to wait till next video. Oh my gosh. I know. I know. I know. This is ridiculous. I tried to do the random comment picker to find the, <laughs> to figure out who was winning my, my giveaway from like three videos ago. And it like would not generate the thing. It was like, I need to start filming. So I figured you'd all understand. You'll all come back next week. Watch again next week as I announce the winner. I know, I know. 
but it's a bag and then you're also going to get a, like a pattern from me and then one of the goodies that I bought at Nashville which is pretty cool because I literally went to six rooms and bought three things and you're getting one of those three things yeah <laughs> I know I know so <laughs> uh I'm happy to be here everyone that is my Nashville kind of rundown again more pictures so many amazing shop owners it was really neat I got to meet um like the fire poppy staff and like they came back and then um mystic fabrics there's Angie and 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 it was just her she was a helper for mystic fabrics and Forbidden Fiber, they they were so lovely. Um, I got to meet Brittany of Ingleside Imaginarium, and she had this really, she's got dragons and like really mythical things, but she also had like a cute pink love pug design. I was like, oh my gosh, Brittany. She's also, so she's a costume designer. Amazing, amazing. People ask me like my fingers, um, like if, if you, <laughs> if you've ever been fingerprinted or you like, you do like, fun crafts where you do finger painting and stuff and people like look at my fingerprint and they're like what happened to your fingerprints well it's from sewing sequins and all the like hand sewing and hand work I used to do as a kid like helping to put individual sequins on ballet tutus so when Brittany showed me her piece she worked on it it had over 5,000 rhinestones that she put on I'm like gorgeous and I know how hard it is to make beautiful things like that so I appreciate you I fangirled hard, y'all, like hard, hard. The the ladies from the Black Needle Society came in and I fangirled them and they fangirled me. And then at one point I was crying. I'm like, I love you. That's a thing, y'all. And I know I, I can make people uncomfortable when I, when I tell them how much I appreciate them and how much I love them, but it's true. Like y'all have brightened my life and brought me so much joy. And I just want to share that joy back at you, like, you know, reflect it back or give it back or, you know, love is infinite, right? <laughs> so, okay, so much love. I want to show you some of the stuff that I have been stitching. So I did the Janine McGowan. I did, um, again, in the cookbook, I used all, it's mostly color and cotton that I get like from the color and cotton club. So like this is this month's March thread club. So I'm in her like three I get three of each color I'm not sure her availability if there's any open slots or anything but I I get three skeins of each one from the bright variegated club one from the all colors club and then one from the primitive and neutral club so I know I'm trying so hard to be, I'm trying to have a little I love all the things but people are like what's your favorite color Amanda May I'm like my favorite color is rainbow I love it okay I want to show, I did do a couple um, finishes I really wanted to show and talk about. So Stitchy Princess Black, she's a Ukrainian designer. I had really enjoyed her work um, before everything in the world and the global events have been happening. Uh, but as soon as I knew that I could help monetarily in some way, I, I went over to her shop. I will have it linked below. And um, I follow her on social media. She's been doing some updates about her situation. She is still in Ukraine, as far as I know. She has not left. So I, uh, sti I'm i stitching a second of her design. I don't know if I grabbed it to show you, but I finished one. It's on a piece of fabric that was gifted to me by very good friend Kate. Kate also stitched these three things here and gifted them to me. I'm not sure of the maker or designer of those three stitches. So Kate, thank you so much. So I stitched it on and it's, it feels like, um, Lugana, Monaco. I, and these are the colors that I used, uh, Sunflower by Color and Cotton and Jack-O-Lantern by Color and Cotton. These are my two like favorite colors. I've stitched a couple things with them. I love them. They're gorgeous. And then the rest is DMC, like 722-469. Okay, maybe not. I have more color and cotton. Uh, avocado, Tusk, and uh, Castle Garden. So these are the colors that I used in this piece. And oh, it's hard. I can't see it very well. Let me see if I can get a little closer. 
my lighting in here today isn't the best. So I'm really happy with this. I used two strands over a two, and I believe this is a 32 count. And before I started stitching, I did fold over and stitch the ends down. So I love this piece so much. I love Easter, so, and I love carrots. I love all the things. So uh, thinking of Ukraine at this time. And so it was really nice to stitch this and send out good thoughts and love. All right, the next piece that I finished, I got another finish, is uh, I finished this last month, but I've been so busy with market and everything. I haven't had a chance to show all of you. I finished Bright Needle, and this is a the Sweet Summer Sampler, book number 31. I am not sure if this is going to be reprinted. I heard through the ether, through the cross-stitch whispers, the stitch, the stitch and whispers, that Bright Needle, like, they might be coming back out with, I'm not sure, like, stuff's going to be re-released. I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I got this chart on eBay and I stitched it on a Monaco even weave thingy. I used, um, it was 28 count water lily jobelin. There we go. I knew there was a <laughs> was 28 count. Um, and then I did all DMC except for one silken colors. And let me show you. so pretty. Uh, I made a couple mistakes and that's okay because it looks gorgeous. And I think that you can't tell the mistakes anyway. Yes. Oh, and someone's coming. So I'm probably going to have to end this video. So I'm going to tell you that I love you, that I appreciate you. Happy stitching and all the things. You're awesome. Take care and I'll talk soon. Mwah!